Misha Tate meets women's MMA trailblazer Julie Ketsy. And now joining us to the blue corner, here is the 26 fight freestyle veteran fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, introducing Julie Fireball Ketsy. 31-year-old Julie Fireball Ketsy was a part of history here on Showtime back in February of 2007 when she and Gina Carano participated in the first female MMA fight on premium cable television. And while Carano may have uh, taken all of the attention away in that fight, they both stole the show. And, and Julie Ketsy, Pat, when you talk about trailblazers in the sport, she has literally fought a who's who in women's MMA and is now even branching out and, and showing her uh, strengths as a guy. Yeah, and she was fighting when nobody else was really for the most part out of the ladies. She was a trailblazer, as you said, and she does do a great job uh, broadcasting. And she's got a great smile. Let's not forget about that. Her key in the cage tonight, with that experience and confidence, she's just got to stand and bang. She's got to get Tisha, Misha Tate into a knockdown drag out fight. You know what Misha wants to do. She wants to wrestle. She wants to get it to the ground. She wants to ground and pound, but no. Kedzie, this is her moment, this is her time. She's got to stand up and go for it. It was that night in February of 2007 where she met Greg Jackson, and that began a long-term professional relationship. In fact, she's now Greg's assistant. She gets the train at one of the top gyms in the sport at Team Jackson, Winkle John, a graduate out of the uh, University of Indiana with a degree in literature, another very cerebral athlete looking to uh, get back on the winning track in this, her second strike force appearance. And her opponent joining us to the red corner with a record of 12 wins and three losses from Yakima, Washington. Here is the former Strike Force Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Misha Cupcake Tate. Gone is the takedown. Here comes Cupcake Tate. And Misha Tate, the former Strike Force Women's Bantamweight Champion, who is a very good baker. In fact, one day she'd like to open a bakery with MMA-themed cupcakes. She thought it was kind of a wink to her personality and the fact that, you know what, she's much more well-rounded than when she began as a noted wrestler. So, hence, Misha Cupcake Tate. <laughs> one thing's for sure, she's no cupcake in the cage. No, and she has gotten better at her striking. Great grappler. Uh, the girl, really think about what she's gone through after getting her elbow dislocated. Wow by the champion. Every time she had to go in and rehab that arm, you know she was thinking about that fight and about her comeback. That was one of the gnarliest things I've ever seen. Misha Tate's key in the cage tonight is grounded pound. She might be the cupcake, but she's got to go back to those takedowns, get this fight on the ground where she's in control and she can use her biggest skill set. She said that she wasn't going to fight with emotion when she faced Ronda Rousey. She admits that that's exactly what she did, and she suffered a great two tear of her muscle tissue, biceps, triceps, and forearm. In addition, her ligaments suffered a grade three tear. She was fortunate that the nerves were not disturbed and that the bone was pulled with the muscle as opposed to the muscle being detached from the bone. When we've seen injuries like that in the past, the arm is never the same. Same she proved to us, her arm is fine. Every arm I've seen dislocated, even remotely close to what that was, it will not straighten ever again, and hers, it's perfect. Let's take a look now at how Tate and Kedzie match up inside the cage. Tate is five years younger than Kedzie. She is one inch taller, one pound heavier at weigh-in time, and has a two inch reach advantage. All right, fans, here we go with a women's bantamweight special attraction scheduled three five minute rounds. Introducing our referee in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. <laughs> referee Jason Herzog. Are you ready? Are you presiding ready? over this female bantamweight bout, the feature attraction here on Show Extreme. Misha Tate said, despite getting submitted by Ronda Rousey in the Bantamweight title fight. She desperately wants a rematch, and her and Ketsy are immediately going mano a mano. Now this is Julie oh, Ketsy's game. Wow. Ketsy, Ketsy's hurt Tate. Ketsy with the right hook, Ketsy all over the former champion here in the first 30 seconds. Yeah, she's got Tate hurt with that kick and the follow-up punches. She needs to not give her too much time here. 
Ketsy has told us it's her time to finally get a chance to seize the proverbial brass ring. She would love an opportunity to finally get into title contention. And boy, this is a great start here tonight. Yeah, she's got a little better timing on the punches, Ketsy does. She just clipped tape with a nice uppercut at the end of that exchange. Working with Mike Winkle, John Show. Winkle John, one of the top striking coaches in the entire sport. Always a, a great guest on my show and really just a, a guy that, that is able to, to put together the striking game plan. You couple that with the master strategy of Greg Jackson. No wonder they're so successful. Now Misha Tate charges Kenzie, pins her up against the fence and delivers a knee to the midsection. I don't think uh, Misha Tate wants any more of this stand up no. after some of the blitzes she's been hit. She about. may have changed her name to Cupcake, but I bet she's looking for a takedown right now. Well, she <laughs> threw a superwoman punch to get inside. Kenzie pummeling along the fence, looking for the boss of luck. Tate looking to slow down the pace, a frenetic start, an entertaining exchange to kick off this main event here on Show Extreme. Of course, the main event later on Showtime is for the Strike Force Women's Bantamweight title. Both of these ladies would love to. Get in contention, oh. and boy, Kenzie mixing up the punches and kicks. Yeah, she did a nice job of pivoting off the cage there, backing up, landing the elbow and the shots. And you take a look at the uh, power strikes, the show stats in this round as Tate shoots for the takedown, defended nicely. It's 15 to 1 for Kenzie, and now she has Tate on the ground from north-south position. Kenzie got that underhook when she shot and horsed her off of that and turned her. A lot of power there. That's a kick to your psyche right there to be stuffed and thrown around like that, Pat. Big time. In her Strike Force debut, Kenzie said she was in a boring fight with Alexis Davis. Nothing boring to this start. Oh, and those punches to Tate are slowing her down. Tate again looks for the, the shoot, defended nicely by Kenzie. Sprawls. And look at how Kenzie punches during all of this. She's defending the takedown and landing those little annoying shots that Deja or knock the wind out of you. Very good. And that makes you tired, Pat. Working for the takedown while getting hit the whole time. Misha Tate's trying to lock up that key lock from that position. You can see her. She's got the wrist. She's going to try and hit a roll of some sort. There she goes. She's headed to Brazil in October to work more on her Brazilian jiu-jitsu with Master Silvio Baring. She said that she's getting more into gi jiu-jitsu to help her overall game. And Kenzie again comes forward. The one, two, the right hand clips Tate. Greg Jackson, holy Julie Kenzie, wow, and there are some people who feel that he does that to influence the judges. I think he does. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. I don't think he needs to influence them right now. 90 seconds left in the opening round. Overhand right by Tate catches Kenzie. And again, Tate nice. takes nice. a takedown. Nice defense by Kenzie. Back up on her feet, knee to the breadbasket. She she basically elbow. Kenzie sprawled onto the air. Misha Tate turned the corner and got out from underneath her. And Kenzie landed flat on her belly and was able to still scramble up and save position. A terrific start by the 31-year-old Julie Kenzie. This her 27th professional MMA bout going into the final minute. Nice. Kenzie told us she's rediscovered her passion for competition and putting it on display here as again she stuffs the takedown attempt by Tate with 34 seconds left in the fight. Batters away at the body from north-south position. Gets up, nails her with a right hand. She does a great job of punching during the takedown attempts by Tate and then on the transition. Oh, the side kick drops Tate. Tate working off her back, has to be careful here, Kenzie, as Tate looking for the triangle, maybe an arm. Kenzie's wow, got a nice posture, tip over. but she passed her too sweep. much. She actually pulled herself in that position, trying to posture out. Oh, my goodness. Looking for the escape as Kenzie, what a beautiful sweep in the mouth there by Tate. Kenzie. And the bell goes, what yeah. a round. Kenzie almost ruined herself a good round there, but she did win that round. Got herself in trouble on the ground, though. All right, Kenzie, simulations. Deep. But it started out with Kenzie making a statement by way of her foot right here. And what a shot. I mean, on the neck, under the chin. That hurt Tate right away.
Good on Julie Kedzie, just staying right on it. Here's her experience, Pat, coming through. She smelt it, and she's just all over. A great job of following up after the kick also and getting on her. Matei was still in it, jumped in with the superwoman punch to close the distance. She didn't like getting hit on the outside. Did a great job of getting her hips inside to get in some wrestling positions. But it wasn't enough. She got stuck on a stand-up, and boom! You don't want to stand up with Julie Kedzie. Nice quick little sidekick to knock her off her feet. Went Tate through that, and then Tate went for the triangle choke, trying to finish this fight anytime it hits the ground. Well, that's what she needs to do. She needs to start ripping off some submission hold attempts. Second round, Fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Let's fight! Bell and round two. Misha Tate, the former Strike Force women's bantamweight champion, sporting the red gloves. Julie Ketsy wearing the blue gloves. Great start for the fireball. Misha, states, Misha Tate still has to punch, though, to get Kedzie to commit on counter punches to get those takedowns. What's this tweet? I wouldn't want him to leave the toilet seat up in the Kedzie household. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Kedzie all over Tate. Tate desperately trying to bring the fight to the ground. Ketsy feeding her some short left hands. And you're right, Pat. She's just getting beat up every time she gets inside for that takedown trip, anything. And the one thing about this is Kedzie is becoming more confident with her lower body strikes because she's able to stop the takedown. She's thinking, okay, I'm a little safer. I can throw and more. And to stay on the theme of the uh, tweet, no time for a bathroom break right now. It's with the tie plum, Julie Ketsy delivering knees, short elbow strikes. It's been all Ketsy in the power strike position. Now Tate has her on the ground. See but Ketsy looking maybe for the transition right into, into the triangle the right away. That was Beautiful. incredible. Looked like maybe even an Uma Plata, but now going for the triangle. Elbows to the head while That's she's got it. it. That's what this you need to do right there. This is the best Julie Ketsy that I have ever seen. I think she's a little motivated. Now going for the Uma Plata, the shoulder lock. Got to watch. Got to watch her leg here. Actually, yeah. Tate circling over nicely, though. There's a knee bar attempt at the end of this one. <laughs> Elbows from Tate. And remember, that was the arm that was submitted by Ronda Rousey. I wonder if there's something in the back of Misha's head going, oh, no, no, that's the arm. That's I wonder the arm. if that's something that <laughs> that's Julie Kedzie's focused on, knowing she's, that. She's setting up for that leg lock. She's still looking for that. And see how she's trying to untangle the legs yeah. right now to at least get out of that, but then transition to taking that leg possibly. No. Nope. Now Tate ends up with Kedzie's back, looking to put in her hooks, looking for uh. that rear naked choke, as she wants to bring Kedzie back to the... Matt Ketsy looking for the backdoor escape, but she's within the grips. There's the body triangle by Tate. A figure four locks, a tough one to get out of. Ketsy. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in the round. Midway point of the round and fight. Ketsy's got to roll and get Tate on her back and get wrist control so she can ride this out a little better. The ebb and flow of MMA. Fantastic first round for Ketsy, and here's uh -oh. Tate now. Left her chin up. Took that arm out of there. She needed that arm in there to protect. Got to get to her back. She's got to keep turning. She's getting there. Just she's getting keep there. Just got to keep turning. Got to keep going. When your back's on the mat, nobody can be on your back choking you. Five of Tate's 12 wins have come via submission. She's full mount now. Almost got it's the full mount. It's still tight. It's still tight. I remember the side choke. She got more. She's getting out. Good. She's sliding her face out. She's doing it. She's safe right now. Now she's got to get moving. Kedzie survives the choke attempt, but in perilous position now, top position. Control from Misha Tate with a minute and a half left in the second round. Beautiful leg work there, getting the guard back, working, coming back up to her feet or trying to. Got to be careful not to expose her neck. Tate sitting deep on that. She's stuck down in the well. She's on the wrong side of the body right now. It's going to be a tough one to ride out. Wow. Terrific action here between Misha Tate and Julie Ketsy. Nice job getting out of two chokes back to back. Round one belonged to Ketsy, heading into the final minute of round two. It's Misha, Cupcake Tate. Short elbow, countered by an elbow from Tate, changes levels, goes for the double leg. 
Getsy defending it well. Pushing that head down smart, but Tate's got her hands locked if she gets her hips in. Nice, that waist grab. Yep, got to arch your hips into them when you do that to stop their leverage. Tate gets the takedown, puts Getsy on her seat, but against the fence. Now transitions. Kenzie wants to get back up to her feet with 20 seconds left. She's got to shimmy up that wall. Nice job getting that underhook in and getting around Tate's back. That keeps her from coming around to her back. 10 seconds left in the second round. Another very entertaining frame here in San Diego. Round one to Kenzie, round two to Misha Tate. Absolutely, Moral. That, that was a nice comeback by Misha Tate. Accomplished what she wanted to. Get the fight to the ground and get Kedzie in trouble. Here's the big throw. Locking up the arm. Awkward lockup position, but she's taking anything she can get here to try and get this thing to the ground. Really nice hip toss out of a very awkward lockup. And they got tangled up here for quite a while. Yeah, Tate's got really good arm control, hand control, when she's inside wrestling there. Boom, she took her hand away. That was the first time she took her hand away from protecting her neck. The right hand landed. Here she took, took it away and got herself in trouble with the choke, but was able instantly, look at her trying to get her back to the mat, that knowing that if she too. could do that. That was a deep choke. The action in that round was so hot that Jimmy Lennon Jr. had to take off his coat. <laughs> and then she works. She's trying to come up here, opening herself up to that arm in guillotine, and she got trapped down in the wrong side of the body, got trapped down in the well, like I said, which is a horrible place to be, and she was still able to fight her way out of that one. Misha Cupcake Tate. Julie Fireball Ketsy set for the third and Fight, final ready. round. Fight, you ready? Fight. Referee Jason Herzog calls for the bell. Tate in the red gloves, Ketsy in the blue. Tate comes forward. Nice wow. kick to the lead leg and chops down Tate. Blasted her. Yeah, I think those leg kicks are money. Gets he misses with the overhand right. Good hips, good hips. Gets Stuffing the head, keeping it down. The takedown. Tweeting at cage side is Liz Carmouche and I am Gorilla. Amazing show by the females this fight. If you're missing this, you're not a fan of WMMA or Strike Force. Or MMA, period. Julie's corner and talented. And Mason Tate is hurt. And the jump on her. Continues to attack the leg and now Tate forced to go to a southpaw. Oh. And, oh. and eats that kick. Kenzie kicks Tate in the head and pounces on her. And she wasn't hurt yet. Wow. She'd be hurt now. That was perfect shin bone to the face. Louisville Slugger logo. Backwards. It looked like he she timed her a little bit like she was going to come in for a takedown. And Kenzie with hammer fist. Tate desperately trying to control her hands. Got to be careful here. And now transitioning into a possible submission attempt as Tate weathers the storm put forth by Kenzie. Tate could be running completely. And Tate not knowing her name for right now. Arm. Yeah, she could be on autopilot. I don't think so. Going for the arm is Misha Tate from the bottom. She's trying to roll her over. Kenzie's trying to keep her weight back in the equation, but if she loses that, she could be in trouble because then it's just her arm. Kenzie has never been knocked out, but six of her ten defeats have been via submission. Got to keep Misha Tate stacked here. Keep your weight on top of her so she can't use her body against just the limb. Yeah, here she is coming out the back door, spinning. She wants to go belly down here, maybe. Oh, he's got that head up. Don't, don't, don't pull your, don't put, try and pull your arm out. Yeah, he's got to be careful. She doesn't put too much space there. So Tate can spin underneath or lift up. She keeps trying to work past that leg. And yeah, one of the best defenses I've found here, Pat, is to get behind whoever's head is armbarring you and keep that hip from extending. Right, you got to stay stacked. And yep. Keep them crushed down. Keep yep. your weight into the equation, like we were saying. She's blocking her from spinning out with her right leg there, so she can't come out the side and go belly down and take a different angle. And Kenzie can start shaking this out little by little, just shimmying it out till the elbow point gets past those hips. Then she's out of trouble. Oh, she's, there she's uh -oh. got it. Extending the arm is Misha Tate, looking for the arm bar. 
Kedzie can still run. She can run to her left. She can turn the pipe. She's got to get going. She's, She's got to get run. going. She's got to turn the thumb up and run. Look at that. Trying to get that frame with her foot. Doing anything she can. Oh, my goodness. A minute 50 left in the fight. Misha Tate looking for the arm bar here in round three. A back and forth battle in the Strike Force women's bantamweight division. A sensational scrap between yeah. Misha Tate and Julie Ketsy. See how Ketsy's thumb is pointed down. She can't. She can't. Uh, oh, oh, she's forced to tap. Misha Tate submits Julie Ketsy via the arm bar. Perhaps poetic justice as Tate loses the title via arm bar, but bounces back in a hell of a fight here as she submits Julie Ketsy via third round armbar. Your heart has to break a little for Julie Ketsy. What a sensational fight for Misha Tate, proving that she's still very much worthy of championship consideration. Yeah, incredible because she got rocked and beat up in that first round, came back in the second, had Ketsy in trouble, and then was able to finish her here. I tell you what, both these ladies deserve applause, big applause. Yeah, it was a gutsy fight. A terrific tilt, Brian Caraway, the UFC Bantamweight, has been there since day one for Misha Tate, her significant other partner in crime when it comes to MMA, and Tate pulls it out, submits Julie Ketsy via arm bar in the third round as Misha Tate picks up her sixth win via submission, 13th victory overall. Well, the round started good for Kedzie, and she'd come off uh, the round before that real nice one, and looked like she was going to get some momentum here. Uh, but, yeah, good strikes, good Big kicks. kick to the head. I tell you what, that you know you one. feel like you've got him when you land a kick like that and see him drop. You and think she, you've got him, right, yeah, Frank? Yeah, she really dropped. I mean, that was a shot that, that could have put her away. And good on tape for recovering, finding a defensive position where she could recover. Oh, and those are big shots. But she came back, and when she got in the arm bar position, she was relentless on it. She refused to let it go, turning under the bottom, turning over the hip, just staying constantly on it, uh, and con continually working that elbow point down so she could put pressure on it. You can see her switching it there, driving the hip into it. Quite a battle of wills there. One person trying to dislocate your elbow, and you're trying to save it. Yeah, and it was too deep here. Kedzie, eventually, you see that thumb goes up. Uh, Tate rolls over, gets the angle on it. This is too much. Yeah, Kedzie made the mistake. She had her palm down and then turned it the other way, which exposed her joint, and uh, Tate was able to finish. God, what a beautiful fight. Amazing That's fight. Beautiful. Well, fans, we have the time of three minutes, 28 seconds at round at number three. An arm bar ends this contest as the fighter taps out. She is the winner by way of submission, Misha Cupcake Tate. San Diego, before we get things started here, what about a nice round of applause for both these athletes, Misha Tate and Julie Kensey. The ladies do it again. Misha, a fantastic fight, yet things didn't go according to plan at the beginning. And yet in the third round, you finish it via the armbar. Take us through your performance tonight. It's a little bit of Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> uh, you know, she's, man, she's a vet. She's been doing this longer than pretty much anyone here fighting tonight. And she really brought it tonight. I think she knew this was a big fight, and she came out tougher, the best I've ever seen her. You talked to us about working more on your jiu-jitsu. Is it something you wanted to display tonight because it ended up winning you the fight? Absolutely. I worked a lot of my ground game, and, uh, you know, I, I felt good when I got that armbar. I really had to work hard for it, but I wasn't going to give it up for anything. I know you're going to be watching with vested interest later tonight on Showtime when Ronda Rousey defends the title against Sarah Kaufman. Your thoughts on that fight? I'm looking forward to it. Who do you think's going to win and why? Um, I'm probably going to go with Rousey, but there won't be uh, one second that goes by that I won't enjoy seeing her get punched in the face by Kaufman. There you have it, the former Strike Force Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight, Misha Cupcake Tate. Let's go back to cage side. Well, Pat, boy, the ladies know how to bring it, not only in the cage, but on the microphone as well. Let's look at the show stat numbers. Yeah, well, Kedzie obviously dominated the striking for the most part, doing a lot of damage and almost finishing the fight with those strikes. But the one for six takedown attempts by Tate, she didn't need the takedowns in the end because she got knocked down with a kick to the head and was able to finish on the ground. Submission attempts, five for Tate, and that final one proved to be the 
the finisher. That was the hook, man. She stayed on the game, stayed on the wrestling, stayed on the arm bar, and finally tapped her out. Misha Cupcake Tate victorious in a fantastic finish to show Extreme's action here tonight. The former Strike Force Women's Bantamweight Champion bounces back in very impressive fashion. Now here's a look at what's coming up at 10 p.m. over on Showtime.